and welcome back folks certainly hope you're enjoying the program and I know you're gonna enjoy this segment because like I mentioned before we kick things off uh, I, I had the opportunity to get a sneak peek you know when during another interview uh, the preview to the trailer, of course, for Footprints. Now, this is a documentary that's being produced, directed, made everything by lots of great talent on the island. And another great talent from the island, not on the island, but she's back on the island now to be part of this. And I have a studio with me. You like that, right? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I have with me in studio this morning. It's good to have her here with us, as a matter of fact. Princess Donnellan and uh, Mr. Barry Collimore. Welcome. Both directors of the film. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Chit Chat. Thanks for inviting Thank us. Thank yeah, you. definitely. I, I saw I saw the, the, the trailer, and like I said, man, I don't even want to talk about what I was doing when the actual race was taking place. I mean, I was uh, about, what, six and a half months pregnant. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Congrats. And I was jumping all over the place. <laughs> and I was bawling. I was <laughs> Come on. And I'm like, Lord, it's like, that's my child. Look at him, you know. And, and now I see the trailer and those feelings just came back again. And such a fantastic moment in history for Grenada on a whole. And I think it's a great thing that you're coming together to make this documentary, you know. Uh, I, I just I guess it's a dream come true Barry first off I know you you've you've got your hands in quite a few things on, on the creative side in terms of media tell me why did you want to produce a, a documentary on on Karani's uh, gold win yeah well thanks um, for, for inviting me again um, Lexan you know there are so many things that happen in in our Caribbean and um, that we don't document. It's true. They're wonderful individuals um, who are doing wonderful things, uh, swim, swimming mm -hmm. against the tide mm -hmm. and making things happen, both now and in the past. And um, one of the problems, I think, with the Caribbean is that we are not documenting, nobody's writing, um, and we are not producing enough of our own television yeah. um, content. We're not telling our own story. So I thought to myself, I, I got the idea and I thought, you know, um, let me think about it some more. And it mm -hmm. kept gnawing at me. And um, usually when things like that happen, I, I normally do two things. I normally talk to people that I trust and, and I normally sleep on it. And, mm -hmm. and in this case, I did both. I called Princess and I said, look, you know, I'm having this idea. You know, and, and, you know, and Princess is always encouraging me in, in, in my ideas, um, mm -hmm. no matter how crazy they are. <laughs> and, um, but this one, I thought she was a little bit more than encouraging. She was, um, <laughs> because some, sometimes these ideas are so crazy they don't make sense. But mm -hmm. she, I think she thought that, you know, this is something that we could definitely work on. Yeah. And then I slept on it and, and it was still not going away. And I thought, you know what, if, 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 if Kirani wins mm -hmm. and nobody documents it, I'm not going to be able to live with myself. I'm going to be really disappointed. I'm going to be depressed for a long mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's how it came about. Yeah. It, was, it was a thought that we um, that we turned into something practical, something um, something which I think people will enjoy, and something that. Um, that will document a very important part of, of history. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. How do you feel to be part of this Well, Barry's being very project. calm and collective <laughs> because in midway when we were here, I remember telling him, Barry, if, if he doesn't win, we don't have a film. Yeah. Because yeah. I was a little bit nerve-wracking, um, but when we got here, when Barry called me, first of all, I jumped at the opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, one, to come back here and do work, and this is not the first project we're involved in, actually. A couple months ago, we started, and Barry was very, very instrumental in helping us get it off the ground. We've done a film called Reflections of the Revolution, which chronicles in 1979 to 83. And it's going to be one of the most comprehensive films to come out of Grenada. Um, thanks to your station, we've got a lot of archival footage as well. Um, and Barry was our person on the ground here who made that all happen. So he's going to be at the film festival with us and whatnot. But yeah, when he called about the Kirani film, I got a crew together, we came down. 
But um, just for me, it was the magic of the moment. It was, I remember Grenada may have been going through some stuff then, but mm -hmm. the love and the unity and the camaraderie and just everybody was so happy and the spirit. And we caught that on, on film. And that's, yes. for me, that's the most magical thing. Yeah. Now, yeah. how long will the film actually be? Well, it's not completed yet, but mm -hmm. um, we think it's going to be just over an hour, hour and 10 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes. Um, so I don't like to hear that, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. Um, but you know, it's 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 not about. I don't think it's about how long the film is. I mm -hmm. think it's we've got such really interesting content mm -hmm. that nobody else has. Has mm -hmm. um, this is the first time, um, and I've yet I'm yet to find anything else like it globally that a country has. Because it's yes, we are telling in a sense, Kirani's story um, with winning the medal. Um, but what we are doing as well is telling the story of Grenada winning its first Olympic medal. And we are yet to find anything out there, and we've checked and researched mm -hmm. with a country being able to capture its first yeah. um, Olympic win in real time. Because mm -hmm. we have everything in real time. Right. Started filming way before the Olympics. Um, we have all the preparations, the build up. Um, the heats, mm -hmm. people watching the heats mm -hmm. and getting exciting, mm -hmm. the, momen the momentum st starting to build with the semis, um, and then the finals, yeah. the nervousness, the anticipation, um, people not being able to watch um, the start of the race, mm -hmm. people, um, they, 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 they can't watch, they're saying, oh, I can't watch. And then when they realize Kirani is winning, <laughs> then they do watch. So we have all of that. The big, the um, the big, um, big screens in. Yes. We had a camera at the big yes. screens in yes. in Cuthbert Peters Park. Mm -hmm. um, we had a camera in rum shops and um, on in Guave and in 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 people's houses and that type of thing. And so just essentially capturing everything. Yes, you know the yes. the true essence of the man in the rum shop, yeah. the the man in Cuthbert Peters Park. Yep. You know, yep. uh, did you get the opportunity to chat with his mom? his family ah, if she's out there if she's looking at no, all, I know I know she's a lovely lovely woman she I is. realize that she's private um, she is. we we hope to get her we, mm. we really do um, mm -hmm. so we're still trying on that good because yeah. yeah. I know uh, clearly you've spoken to to a lot of persons yeah. you know supporters fans you know etc mm -hmm. can you give us right coaches people right. That, that have impacted his life and mm -hmm. have contributed to where mm -hmm. he is now mm -hmm. um, a lot of people in the community and him himself yeah and he's such a gentle oh, humble yeah. I mean and this is this shows you the kind of mothering he would have had oh, yeah. kind of parent the kind of community that rallied around him I mean it's a beautiful beautiful story yeah, definitely you know? yeah. folks I'm chatting with directors of footprints uh, uh, I, I feel so overwhelmed right now <laughs> to introduce this. But guys, I hope we have it queued because I'd like to share uh, the trailer with our viewers right now. This is all about Karani James's journey before and after winning the gold. Check it out. During the race, you know, there was just you know, a huge sense of pride in me while I was running. And it felt like, you know, everyone that was watching was, they were actually a part of me running. As we celebrate Karani James, it's not merely the fastest quarter miler in the world. It is a good Grenadian demonstrating the principles that we all would like to emulate. We're talking about somebody that is well grounded. You can't teach that. That's born into somebody. He was running with the whole of Grenada on his back. Not for Kirani James to win a medal. He ran for Grenada. Grenadians always were proud of their country. However, now um, they, like the world knows it. You know he's running for more than ever for Guav. Guav has always been a place that had multi-talented athletes, athletes of different talents. Grenada, once again placed on the map, 
by a little boy from Guav. It's about a lot of good things that could come from Guav. This is history, you know, being created right now. I feel that our mission had completed, you know. This was meant to happen at this time for our country. Now when you pass the streets, you see flags hanging through these windows. Right now at church, we say, it's not clear and he's not running. It's the Lord moving his legs. No matter where you're from, you know, you can still do you know, a lot of good things. And it's definitely coming soon. Certainly hope you enjoyed the trailer for Footprints, the story of our very own Karani James. Look, here goes the hormones again, you know, and I ain't even <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You sure? I'm kidding. Yes, princess. <laughs> princess. <laughs> but it must... I, tell me about the shooting process, you know, because clearly you have to be here, then everywhere. And for you, princess, who... You know, I know you do your thing behind the camera. What was that like in terms of, you know, the support and... Right. Yeah. I would say this was a lot of guerrilla style shooting because yeah. we, we didn't have a set schedule. We couldn't, um, mm -hmm. the way documentaries are. Um, we actually were very lucky to have two extra cameras, um, Daryl Friday mm -hmm. and Teddy Frederick, mm, good. Um, who worked with Barry a lot and, you know, very impressed by their work. Mm -hmm. um, it was literally, we... We had a, or we had scheduled people to interview. Um, the things on the street, what was happening, we couldn't we couldn't script that. We couldn't. Yeah. So it was. But sometimes it was hectic. You know, okay, send this camera here, send this one here. You do this. But I mean, we were so lucky. There are times when you get a perfect crew mm -hmm. in a sense that it's it's like a family, and you relate well. And we were lucky in this one. We yes. I can honestly say that there were no no hissy fits, no tantrums, no you know no no kind of friction with the crew at all. Yeah. And that was that's such a relief because at the end of the day you're going 15, 16 hours and you're burned and you're tired and you know mm -hmm. you want to take a bath or whatever, but you have this wonderful euphoric feeling that this is all, you know, such a great crew to work with yeah. and you've gotten results. So I I, am, I think we're blessed for this. For sure. Definitely. I mean, yeah. You know, it's, you know, it's, you know, you can say, you know, it's the story of, of, um, of Kirani, but it's also the story of Grenada. Sure. And behind the scenes, it's a story of, um, of the, the, it, it, it really is a reflection of the talent that, w that exists here in Grenada. Mm -hmm. um, I've always said this, and I, and I really believe it, that we have some very, very talented um, individuals, and most of them are young people mm -hmm. under the age of 35, um, who all they need to do is to be given a chance, yep. like Teddy and Daryl. Yep. Um, and if they are, and if you know the stations are more open and 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 the traditional channels are more open and there's more sponsorship and um, and and a more of a recognition of of um, of their creative talent then I think that um, as a people we will go much further mm -hmm. because you're not only telling your own story but you're reflecting um, in a very positive way mm -hmm. um, the image of, of of you as a people so do you want to put a mirror that accurately reflects you so you can see yourself as you really are? Or do you want to put a mirror that is all with dirty with fingerprints and you can't really see yourself? Mm -hmm. We've got to get to a point where um, we kind of wake up and re realize that the media is not about scandal and politics and all of this kind of thing. It's, yeah. it's about telling real stories. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, I really believe that these young people that exist. Grenada, for a relatively small island, has a remarkable pool of talent, and, and we've got to find ways of, of exposing that. So it's interesting that you ask about the shooting process. Mm -hmm. I say hats off fully to, um, without our young crew, yep. it, did none of this would happen. Pictures wouldn't be as sharp. Um, and um, it wouldn't be what it what it what it is. Yeah. Just to add to that, our DP Aisha Straker and song tech, um, Karen Lemsey. Um, Aisha also is the one responsible for editing the trailer. Mm -hmm. But to add on what Barry said, I mean, my only link to Grenada is actually the station. Mm -hmm. You know, I watch you uh, with the aerobics and your <laughs> shows. No, and that for me, because in the Caribbean, I think we need to see. We have so many stories, yeah. and we need to see our faces. We don't yeah. need to see the MTVs and reality shows because let's be honest, we, we're just 
you know, yeah. taking that in and soaking that in and trying to emulate that. And mm -hmm. we have so many wonderful stories here. And we need to see ourselves on film, that's you know, right. chart our own path. It bothers me when I see a channel that's um, supposedly local and it's just bombarded with all of these shows and they won't support local content. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's our downfall, I think. Yeah. So hats off and kudos to you for what you do. I'm Thank so you. proud to see you on C TV and it just yeah. like, I'm, I know how I went to school with her, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Thank you. And I, it goes both ways, actually, Princess, because, you know, when I saw it, I was like, gosh. Because I know I remember looking at you on Westwood Park, and I'm like, man, she is doing her thing behind the scenes now, and you're doing a phenomenal job. And I want to say, well done, and kudos to you as well, my girl. Well done. And I think it's incredible that we have, it's great that we have our local talent yeah. as part of the crew. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes before you, you, you wait on, on someone to come into Grenada to, to pitch the idea, to get the funds, to get the camera, the crew. Now we can say it's, it's all about us. Yeah. And I like what one of the ladies said um, in, the, in the trailer. I think it was a girl in a costume, Asian looking girl. She said, you know, people know Grenad Grenadians are proud people, but now the world knows it. And yeah. this is why we're yeah. proud, not yeah. just because of Karan, yeah. but because we're getting our youth, like you said, Barry. Yeah. Um, and I want to commend you as well for getting those young people involved yeah. because it's just the break. It's That's so all important. they need. They yeah. just need that one time yeah. to really make their mark. And yes. it's, it's really good. Um, before we close off, um, I know you're working on a lot of business aspect of things. You're trying mm -hmm. to tie up those ends, um, I, I guess. Do you have any sponsors on board, that sort of thing, yeah, to well, support the film? Well, we've had um, some sponsors on from the, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, the Aquarium and um, Victory Bar, mm -hmm. led by um, Uli Kuhn, who is the owner, and um, Peter DeSavery, mm -hmm. um, chairman of, of Savvy Grenada. Yeah. They've helped in a big way um, so far. We yeah. are launching a Kickstarter appeal, mm -hmm. which you'll hear more about. Um, because the film needs additional funding. But I'm very confident that, that we can get um, sponsors and, yeah. and partners on board because this is you know, so important um, for Grenada. We want to, um, when it is done, show it in all of the cinemas and places like Spice Basket mm -hmm. um, for free. We don't want anybody paying to come see it. Um, we want to make it available to the schools for free. Um, we want to make it available to the Board of Tourism mm -hmm. um, so that they can take it um, and, um, you know, present it as a gift from Grenada. When you meet uh, your colleague from wherever, you have something to, um, that you're really proud of so, to represent Grenada. So there's a lot of pressure on us mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to ensure that it's a quality product. Yes. Um, and we are going to be very, um, very, very much focused on ensuring that, that we have something of, of, of a very high standard, something that, uh, that everyone can be proud of, and indeed something that fully and truly represents this really remarkable story of Kirani and, and of Grenada um, in this medal. Fantastic. <laughs> well done. Well done. And good Thank to you. see you, Princess. Good to see you. Folks, you got to stay tuned. Uh, to, we'll, we'll try our best to keep you posted uh, as to the finale and when it's going to be premiered. That's yes. Footprints. It's all about Kirani. It's all about Grenadians rallying around our very own Kirani James. And of course, I was speaking with both uh, Barry Collimo and Princess Donnellan, directors of the film. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.